Hey everyone, it's Raphael here, and this is going to be Minority by Green Day. This is off their album Warning, and this is the second to last song in the album in that order. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the intro, which is probably the only actual tricky part of the song. The rest of these are just like um, this repeating, it's a repetitive song, but the intro is the only different part, I guess. So let's go ahead and let's break this down, starting with the intro. So, yeah, so let's go ahead and the first thing we're gonna actually play is a C. Now, the intro of Minority is something like this. It will be... Yep, so that's the, um, that's the intro and then it goes straight to... Yeah, so we'll get to that on um, all those later, but let's go ahead and break down the intro. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a C chord. So it's gonna be um, your ring finger on the A string on the third fret, and your middle finger should be just on the second fret in the um, in the D string, and then your uh, index finger will be on the first fret, and that should be down on the B string. Okay, so that should be a C. So let's go ahead and to play this, I'm gonna go ahead and show it'll be you go like so you're gonna kind of like strum the top three strings over here, which are like the um the um A string, the D string, the G string, and let's go. So I'll go slowly, so you go to so you're gonna immediately switch to a G where you'll do the same thing. Silby. And then once you get them down, so the timing is what matters, but um you're gonna go ahead and move the, your um so after you play the G, right? Gonna move down to the next one where we're gonna go put our ring finger down on the D string, and then your index not your index finger, your middle finger down on the G and your index finger will remain on the same area as it was earlier on the C. So then we can do. So you're gonna do this first and then move back to a C. So it'll be. And then get make sure that the timing is correct. You got to listen to the original song to get the timing, but I will play slowly so you can see the way I transition like the chords when I play. So it'll be. Yeah, so basically what I'm doing again to recap is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and you can do either way if you want to, you can do or you can just do to make if you're gonna play quickly you can also um strong the top three before um plucking the um the B string underneath so it'll be so and then also you can also do I'm sorry, dude. So directly after you um you plot that um string right here, is the time you switch to the next chord. So it'll be. So you repeat those that thing twice, but the last thing you're gonna do is. And that is the time Billy Joe starts singing. So um, the way we do that is um, go ahead and take down your um, your chord over here, which we're gonna do. So it's the one where um, you take your two fingers and then you put it up to do a C again. That will be so it'll be like. All right, then that's the time that you get launched into the um, the second riff where you go. Okay, so make sure to get that part down. The intro is the only actual hard part of the song because of the timing. But other than that, it should get um, it should get easier over time. So let's go ahead and do the intro again just to show you. So it'll be. So 
So I can obviously play it slower if you want to, but let's, that's the intro down. And that's also the outro as well of the song. So it's the exact same thing. But let's go and get right into the verses now. So that will be... Yeah, so that's the um, verse, um, what's the first um, verse going to play? So it's going to be a C, an F, a G, and then an F again. So you're going to repeat that, and the, um, um, the chord progression will be simply like... Yeah, so we get the idea. If you listen to the original song, you can also get the timing, but that's the chords you've got to play for when Billy Joe starts singing. So for an F, it simply simply for an F we're gonna do a bar, we're gonna bar the first fret, and then we're going to go ahead and put our ring finger down on the A string and our pinky finger directly underneath that. And then we're gonna put our middle finger on the second fret and that's going to be on the um, G string right here. So that is gonna be an F. Now if you want an electric effect you'll do you can also do like the C bar chord. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So it's going to be a C first, which we played earlier in the intro, so you should know that by now. It's going to be... Alright, so you should get like... Okay, so that's the um, that's directly after the intro. And then now we're gonna go ahead and get to um, the the next. That's, that's like the first chorus, actually. I should say that's like what's the chorus of that. Then we're gonna go and get to the next section where we go. So hopefully you get the idea. So the um, actual verses they don't actually have um, they don't have to they don't have any new chords yet. That's um, later for the next section. That is going to be simply C. So C, then a G, then an F, and then do a C again, and then you do the next for the second one. You're gonna do. A C, a G, an F, and then a G, okay? So it should sound, we repeat this twice, this whole um, section will be. So you see the way, you see how the second one is a G, but the first one is a C? So that's the only um, distinction from each line that you're gonna play for those um, verses. And then it's back to the, uh, Chorus, the verse in the chorus will be. Alright, then we're gonna go ahead and do the. This is the only part that's different. It's the one right before the second verse. It's on the, I guess you'd say the, um, the bridge will be. The only new chords we got are A minor and E minor, so everything else, F, F and C, F and G, we're going to be using that already, but for the A minor, since that's a new chord that we have to play for this, um, go ahead and for the second fret, we're going to focus on the second fret, put your own middle finger down on the D string and your ring finger down underneath that, it's going to be on the G, and your index finger should be back on the um, B, which is on the first string, it will be... Then E minor. E minor is simply so remove your index finger and take whatever your current position that you got from the A minor. All you're going to simply do is just drag that up one string. So drag both fingers up like this. So it'll be.
Okay, so A minor, E minor, F, and then C. So. So then it's gonna be a G again, okay, for this, when you repeat it twice, and then. This part is different, it'll be. Because the, the, for the last one, right before we resume, it will be simply A minor, but this time, you're going to leave the E minor out. It'll just go A minor, F, and then you do the G, but it's gonna be a bar chord. So just whenever you go from F, move that down two frets, and then do. Just like in the original song, when um, Billy Joe's kind of palm mutes that part when before getting right back to the second verse. So let's go ahead and do the entire section. It will be the same thing. So if you notice, the rest of the song is the same thing. So um, like I said before, once you get those um, parts down, you just have to repeat that again to repeat the chorus, which is C, F, G, F. Like the chords are all on the screen as well, like I mentioned earlier. If you need it to see um, uh, what, 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 I'm, what I'm particularly playing. So that is going to be, after that, we're just gonna go ahead and skip straight to the outro because the rest of the song is the same. Um, the outro is the same as the intro, like I said earlier, so repeat the whole thing where you go like this. Alright, that's the same thing. So, that's right after you finish the um, rest of the chorus and the verses. That is minority by green that you've got everything down. So. Um, be sure you just, um, look back to the video as well if you need to um, if you had trouble with some sections. I think personally the only um, difficult or challenging parts would be the intro and outro. Once you've got the rest of the down, the rest of the song should be a piece of cake to play. So, like I said before, this is um, the album Morning. It is their sixth album, and this is the second to last track. It comes right before Macy's Day Parade. So, give the song a listen. I'm sure it's one of their best songs as well in my opinion, so yeah. See you guys in my next guitar video.